told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away All right, this is Brody Geringer. This is his third day ever riding a motorcycle. Already catching some air, but there's a few issues we can work on. His feet are flat-footed on the heels, toes pointed out to the side. His elbows are down, and like when he jumps this jump, he doesn't have much control when he lands. Elbows are down, makes the front end a little wobbly when steering. Feet pointed out, likely to catch a rock or something and injure his foot. So you can see when he comes by there and he comes by again, look at the right foot and how the toes are pointed almost out. Cody uh, doing really good for his first few days of riding, but there's a few things that you can correct right away that make riding a lot more pleasant, a lot easier. And down the road, you don't have to correct these mistakes when you're 20 years old. So the first thing, Brody, show me how you would normally stand up. So. Brody's doing better because we worked on this. So earlier, show me the way you were standing earlier. Put your feet where they were earlier. Okay, put them forward where they were with your feet out. Bend your knees. Bend your knees forward, forward. And then you were, that, okay, that's how Brody was riding earlier. He's in a very awkward position. So now Brody knows, because we just went over this, he shifts the balls of his feet to the foot pegs. He straightens his legs out with just a slight bend. Puts his back straight and head up, looks forward and elbows out, right? Just like that. We gotta try to get this back just a little straighter and that's how you wanna ride. So that's a much better position. It's a much more stable position. You use your legs to control the bike. By putting the balls of your feet on the foot pegs, you automatically grip the bike. So a lot of people say grip the bike and they don't understand how to do that. Well, you do it from riding on the balls of your feet. When you're flat footed, your legs are bowed out. So if you can correct these few steps on somebody's first time riding a dirt bike, these technique steps, they'll have a lot easier time riding a dirt bike and be quite a bit faster and they'll improve a lot quicker. They don't have to correct these things down the road. So balls of the feet, straighten the legs out, straighten the back out, unlock your hips so your butt can go back, have the proper grip on the handlebars with your hands cocked sideways, they call it like a tennis grip or like you're grabbing a doorknob instead of straight on, grab it at an angle, automatically put your elbows up, head forward, and that's how you can look like a pro when you just start riding a dirt bike. So get those techniques down. These few things are the most important things technique-wise technique to learn when you initially start riding a dirt bike. It'll make your life a lot easier. So Brody's gonna go out there, he's gonna try to stand up like this and work on it. It's gonna take time. We're gonna go tear it up, right Brody? All right, good job. All right, so here's Brody after he worked on the couple things. We talked about it. You can see he's kind of having a hard time with it. He's still on the seat, still not standing on the balls of his feet, but every time he goes over, it gets a little better. His butt was getting off the seat that time. Comes around the corner here, and this is when I first saw him starting to improve his technique. He had his ball of his foot on the outside foot peg, and then now he's starting to get off the seat. He's starting to rock his head forward, get his back straight, leg straighter. And every time he went over, it got a little bit better. Elbows started to go up. Legs started to straighten out. And every single time, it got a little better. And don't worry, he's got a full set of gear, boots, jersey, pants. Okay, what we're looking at here, this is the proper grip. The tennis grip or the act like you're grabbing a doorknob grip where you have that diagonal angle in your grip. Second one is the improper grip. This is straight on, forces your elbows down, forces your weight forward, knees forward, not the right grip to have. Second one, you're on the balls of your feet and that allows you to automatically grip the bike with your knees and your legs. It's the right grip to have, right foot pl placement. Next one is improper foot placement. That is toes out almost horizontally, heels on the foot pegs, and then you're moving it horizontally to shift. This one here, this is the proper back position, proper riding position, legs almost straight, slight bend in the knees, elbows up, back straight, head forward. This one here, this is the improper riding position, knees bent, elbows down, rounded back, head down. You want to stay away from these riding positions.